Hello, greetings. Yeah, so I there's another thing I was like the Sunnis don't get. Some Sunnis say yes, there is wasila. I don't know about the religious scholars. Uh, some say no, there is no. Uh, <coughs> ex friend of mine, she wasn't even a religious scholar. <coughs> but some of the Sunnis speak like they know the Quran, like it has come on them for them and uh, you know they hardly know the grandson what happened in Karbala and they just speak with half knowledge that uh, there's no intercession in the Quran but the, uh, the it's uh, it's very the Quran like Imam Ali has said that uh, it is very uh, one verse uh, you have to attach you have to see the scattered verses. So one verse in the Quran will explain another verse in the Quran. Seemingly, they are contradictory verses. Like These disbelievers will have no intercessors. It doesn't say that uh, no one will, uh, there's no intercession at all, or that in the hereafter we will not get the intercession. So some, some go and say that, you know, this is in Sunni, Shia, this conflict of intercession and what's Sila going on? And uh, some say, but what do you think about prayers? And uh, this is the means of approach. When Bibi Fatima Zahra has said in her khutbah to Abu Bakr that we are the means of approach. So the Sunni and Shias are fighting over this arguments. I mean, they don't kill each uh, The Sunnis kill us, some of the extremists, they would love to see the true Islam and they they think that uh, uh, they're taking it from you know so we used to think they're taking it from Abu Sufyan and not really uh, this uh, the wives that you know all this anyways I don't now go into that but I will show you the uh, we, means of approach take the means so we need to settle I need to settle this means of approach. So you see, I'll just, for this, I'll show you how, I wish I could show you, and I will show you uh, through this video, uh, doing research as I go on. And uh, so, I, uh, maybe I'll pause the video, I don't know, means of approach, searching for means of approach. So some, uh, some Sunnis are like, they are confused themselves, and then they say that those uh, Shias are kafirs, uh, disbelievers. Some of the religious scholars have interpreted. I want the Quran ayat on tawassul. Uh, so you see this here, Wikipedia tawassul. So some of the religious scholars have interpreted wasila, the means of approach, mentioned in the Quranic verse as faith and their uh, good deeds, while others who are majority have explained the word as the prophets and the righteous and the favorites of Allah. It goes on. So you can check Wikipedia. Here is Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia, my God. It doesn't uh, focus. I just need, I'm after the truth, uh, so not uh, the political thing going on. I don't know what happened. Uh, Oh, you who have, I don't even know what's happening today. Oh, you who have believed, fear Allah and seek the means to Him and strive in His cause that you may succeed. So, Bibi Fatima Zahra explained this verse in the khutbah in her sermon to Abu Bakr. We are the means of approach. Some say this is namaz and these are the, the methods given by Islam and the, in the Quran. But you won't find how to pray namaz in the Quran. You will find how to do wudu, but you won't find how to pray namaz. So a very important thing was left when Rasulullah left saying, protect your salah, protect your salah. We were told. Sunni so say he was on the lap of uh, Aisha while he died. His head was on the lap of Aisha. 
Okay, and uh, so this goes on. English translation, and do not approach immorality is what is apparent. So how how is this? Uh, Prophet Muhammad and his all the wasila. How are they the wasila? Where is it? Does uh, the Muslims will catch our throats and say, uh, the Shias, you Shias. They will catch your throats and say, where is the, where does it say in the Quran? The Rasulullah is the means of approach. doesn't say it like this. And you have changed the Quran and this and that, they will. So I was searching for all this. Means of approach. It doesn't say in the Quran that Allah and the angels send a salute. You see, everything, if you take literally and then when the metaphorical verses, then then when the sun is going down in murky waters, they say, well, you take that so metaphorically. And all this. So, sorry I have to speak like this. I'm just had it over my head. So you see this uh, driving us, like, uh, so I saw in both of these, in Surah, uh, Surah Zumar, like, huh, you can, like, they take everything so uh, strict, right? The Sunnis, like, Imam Ali's name is not, so Abu Bakr's name is not in the Quran, not even uh, the uh, two, the names are not given, but uh, when you read that ayat, that the two in the cave, and why is it written like this? So the Shia say, we put our blood and sweat and our lives in this. And so before us who were the Imams who did this, gave the blood and lives and all this to protect the true religion, uphold the true, true religion. And we don't really care about prevailing. It prevails in our hearts. Imam Hussain was in our hearts. Oh, so other, I can find my other glasses. This, my eyes are becoming too weak. I need stronger glasses. I can't find them. So uh, this is going to be very boring. And then you can do your own research if whoever cares to listen. Uh, Surah Zumar Ayat, uh, the Surah Zumar. Zumar or Zamar, whatever it is now. Uh, some of these polities, what they do. So you see, no authority was sent. Some say the Quran is in a, indeed, a sincere devotion is due only to Allah. As for those who take others, lords besides Him, saying we worship them only so they may bring the us closer to Allah, surely Allah will judge between. Oh, the ex-friend will have, oh, she has, uh, she will have a field day. Do you not read this? Indeed, see, sincere devotion is due only to Allah. As for those who take other lords besides him, saying we worship them only so that they may bring us closer to Allah. Surely Allah will judge between all regarding what they differed about. Allah certainly does not guide whoever persists in lying and disbelief. We are the liars, we are the disbelievers, Shias. Mm. She must be saying, now, where is your namaz and where, what do you do, Shias? Like she asked me.
what about fasting and zakat and this and that? You Shias give homes. Zakat ayat is there in the Quran. You disbelieving liars persist in your lies, you Shias. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, the revelation of this book is from Allah, the Almighty, Allwise. Indeed, we have sent down the book to you. To whom? O Prophet in truth, so worship Allah alone being sincerely devoted to him. What do I tell the Sunnis? Huh? Second ayat. No, third. No, this was the second ayat. The, yeah, the first is the rebel. Second, third ayat. Indeed, sincere devotion is due only to Allah. Shia's liars, Shia's kafir, Shia's kafir. Haven't you heard from Pakistani Muslims? <laughs> 